Just a few more things to go over some of those soccer skills that you can be practicing at home are just those ball handling skills. So we talked a little bit about dribbling and how to remember how to do that. Okay, same goes for passing and shooting on goal. Remember that in step with our foot is going to be turned to the side. You're making contact on the inside part of your foot and not towing at the ball. So that's going to be some of the, a little bit more of those advanced skills to be able to pass those skills tests for first and second graders. Sorry, my phone fell off. Um, uh, some other things you could do uh, is just some of the, those quick feet, okay, and quick style things on the ball. And so I'm going to show you a couple of those. So remember, you can do those toe taps on top of the ball. You can put the ball in between your feet and shuffle step, okay, in between those. You can do some rollover type skills, okay. You can pop that ball off of your knees and try to keep that continuous. You can practice some headers off of the ball. I also set up a few of the cones out here that you can practice dribbling and weaving in and out of. Remember in soccer, you want to use both of feet in order to control the ball. So you want to become good with your right hand foot and your left foot. So I can go and use the backside portion of my shoe. I can also use that instep portion of my shoe in order to maintain control of the ball. So hopefully you are able to get outside with your family a little bit today and have some fun doing some soccer.